Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. In a recent video, I showed how to use the iStat Pro widget on your dashboard to watch your swap memory space and see if you're running out of memory. Well, so many people installed that and asked questions about it, I decided to make this video to show you how to best configure iStat Pro because it has lots of options. First, you'll see it's broken into sections. We have CPU, memory, disks, etc. And the first thing you might want to do is to move some of these around. Let's say you want the disk section lower. Well, you'll see when you hover over a section, you get these little bars here. You can click and drag that section just by holding that like that. And then wherever you let go, that's where it'll stay. Now as far as deciding which sections you want to display and how to filter which information shows up within a section, that's both hidden under the settings button here which looks like an eye. So if you go to the sections tab, you'll see for instance that the load and uptime and processes sections are off by default. Well, I actually like those, so I'm going to turn those on. Then I'll click Done. And you'll see I've got an Uptime section. And the Processes section, even if I drag this up a little bit, it's going off the bottom. Well, one way to solve that is back here under Settings, under the General tab, for Skin Type, instead of Tall, set it to Wide. There, that solves that problem. You can click and drag anywhere in here if you want. I'll set it right there. So there, now, this is a lot of information. Uh, everything here is useful in different circumstances, but it may be a little overwhelming. So let's say, for instance, the network section, that's probably the one I look at the least. So if I want to remove that, I would simply go to the I again go to Sections, and set Network to Off. Now I no longer have a Network section. Now let's say I want a disk section, but I don't care about the space on the backup drive. I'm just interested in the space on my internal drive. Well, that is under the Display tab here. The Display tab is basically how to filter some of these sections. So the disk section, you can see both of the drives are checked. I'll uncheck that one. Other options here is you can turn Bluetooth and Ethernet on and off under the network section, which I'm not even displaying now. There's a long list of different temperatures within the computer that I can turn on and off. Right and left fan, and I can decide whether I want to widgets to show up in the processes section or not. But for now, all I did is I removed the time machine drive here from the disk section. So let me give you a quick survey of some in interesting stats in here. One thing you'll notice is that my battery health is down to 86%. That means that my battery, it's a little old, so even at a full charge, it will only last 86% as long as a new off-the-shelf battery. You can also see I've been running almost five and a half days since I last restarted my computer. And here you can see what processes are taking up what percent of my CPU. Oh, the fan section is interesting, especially on a laptop. Um, my MacBook Pro, when it's not working too hard, usually is around 2000 RPM for the fans. And it jumps up to two other speeds, 4,000 and 6,000 RPM, if it's doing more difficult things like playing a video, especially a high-def video, or recharging the battery, or doing something CPU intensive like a, a really complicated spreadsheet or something like that. So configure the sections exactly how you want them, and you'll be able to quickly get stats on your dashboard for various gory details of how your system's running. 
And if you want more information on the various parts of iStat Pro, click on the question mark button here. And that will open up a browser window and take you to the manual where you can learn about all the various sections and the terminology, etc. So, hope that helps.